Let's better understand the science behind the fear of public speaking. According to the National Institute for Mental Health, over 73% of the population, that's more than two in three people, suffer from the fear of public speaking. It's called glossophobia. In fact, most people say that public speaking is a bigger fear than the fear of death. Why is this the case? There's got to be some logic behind it. Let's help you understand that. This has its roots in evolutionary days. When our cavemen ancestors saw many eyes looking at them, they knew it was bad news. It was likely a pack of wolves about to attack them or a pack of lions about to attack them. As a result of which, any time our cavemen ancestors would look at eyes, their amygdala, which is the fight or flight part of the brain, would fire up and they knew they had to run. They would get sweaty and they would run for it. Fast forward a few million years later. When we are on stage or in front of a group and we have several sets of eyes looking at us, the same amygdala fires up, which is why your palms get sweaty or your heart starts beating or you feel like you're going to faint. What's the way out? We need to convince our amygdala using our prefrontal cortex, which is the logical part of the brain, that these are just human beings who are here to listen to us. They aren't here to eat us. They're just interested to hear our ideas. In order to get the prefrontal cortex fired up to control the amygdala, we need to work through exposure therapy. What that means in simple English is keep practicing and putting yourself in this situation using micro doses from time to time such that your body is able to overcome this fear. Now, to be clear, nobody actually overcomes this inherent fear of public speaking. We just learn how to tame the nerves a little bit more each time. The way experts suggest doing this is by taking baby steps. And that's why we've built Udly. Start by recording yourself with your video off. Just hear your voice. And once you feel a little bit more comfortable, practice with your video on. We all hate watching ourselves. It's the most cringy process, but it's step one towards realizing that not all is lost. Once you're a little bit more comfortable, share your speech with maybe one friend or one colleague and get timestamped feedback from them. And once you're more confident, share it with five or seven friends using Udly. And the end goal is to present in front of a group of people live. Now that you've understood the science behind the fear of public speaking, let's look at a few actionable ways to get better.